Hey everybody, Fearless Friend here. Um, doing some general updates today. I haven't had a whole lot of time to do any work here on the racing mower or anything really in the garage, but I thought I'd make a video to show you what I've been up to lately. My last video I was asking you guys whether or not I should do the Peerless Transmission or the Torque Converter and finally made my decision on that and we've decided to go with the Torque Converter and the Honda Clone and we're going to save that Peerless for some other kind of project. I'm not really sure what yet but we'll find something to do with it. But I'd like to say thanks to a user named Mark. Uh, 16443, um, he is actually the guy who gave me the original suggestion to use the uh, torque converter transmission on the racing mower. So thanks to you, Mark. Um, great suggestion. Um, it's what we're going to be doing here. Um, also want to give a big shout out and thank you again to uh, T-Man Go-Karts. If you guys haven't checked out his channel yet, you should do so. If you like racing lawn mowers or building go-karts or fabricating things, he's does exactly that. Um, not so much in the lawnmower realm, but he does go-karts and he has a couple really cool designs and a few different channels. Um, but yeah, I'll link his channel there and uh, check him out. He does some pretty cool interesting stuff. He's, he's very good at uh, what he does. Alright, so I ordered this from BMI Carts and this was a Comet 30 series with the 4041 chain drive on the back. Um, Three quarter inch shaft input. Um, this is for the Honda clone that I got. This is brand new, and I was under the impression that Comet went out of business, but the woman at BMI, Megan, who seems to be the only person you ever talk to when you call BMI, um, has informed me that another company has bought Comet and is producing the parts. So I guess Comet is still in production. But here we have a brand new TAV2 30 series Comet clutch. There's the guard. I'm not sure whether or not this will fit on my build. I hope it will because it's really pretty. And looks like my receipt. Just throw that to the side. And here's the driven pulley with the mounting plate attached to it. Set that over here to the side. Some more cardboard. There's our driver clutch, or at least the first half of it. Some more information, a sticker, ride the comet, looks like warranty information, another sticker, some hardware. Nice new belt. And the other half of the driver clutch. The engine side. With pushing. So it looks like I got everything as far as I know. If you guys see anything missing, please help me because this is my first Comet clutch ever. And yeah, I'm actually pretty excited to uh, try it out. They look pretty cool. I've seen them in action on T-Man's website and a few others. And I really like how they work. They look really interesting, and I think it'll be perfect for this application here. So yeah, now that we got our torque converter, and we know that we're using our Honda Clone motor donated here by our user, Truckin93, we can go ahead and mount this engine plate. And I'm going to use these pieces of angle. It's going to be set up kind of like you see. The measurements aren't uh, fully there yet. That's just kind of showing you guys how it's going to go. Um, and I'm going to get ready to mount this rear axle here. You can see how low that's going to sit there and it's going to be kind of lined up like this. You can see my alignment marks everywhere. I've been spending a lot of time measuring for the most part. But that's basically where it'll sit. It'll keep that axle as close to the frame as possible. You can see this side here. I'm going to mount the bearings with the flange side facing outwards. And you got the one bolt here, the other bolt there, and the third bolt is actually covered up by my vice grip here. But that's actually going to go right through the, the uh, center of the frame. And if you remember, there's a piece of one inch box steel jammed up underneath inside this C-channel frame. So it's actually going to bore through like three layers of steel. And then like two layers of steel on this side. And bolt through on the bottom. And then these two bolts are going to be smaller on the top. And this whole thing is going to be welded. And I'm going to take this box steel here and cut some 45 degree angle pieces 
and weld in little gussets on either side so there's no deflection like that when it's all mounted. The other thing I've been doing is uh, working on the gas tank here. I patched a hole that was in the bottom of it with weld and ground it flat and I wire brushed this whole gas tank. I replaced a nut zert that was right there. Um, that's what it originally looked like and this one was all stripped and broken so I redid that one. Tried to weld this upper part and my welder just keeps melting through on the lowest setting so I'm not really sure what to do there. I was thinking about getting it brazed by a professional, um, but if you guys have any suggestions, I don't want to use quick steel or JB Weld or anything like that. Um, I'd rather something that was solid steel, but I'm thinking brazing is the good thing here. But let me know what you guys think about that. I was also contacted by a user named Fugi, or Fugi, I'm not really sure how you pronounce his name. Um, and he was intrigued by my spindle extension mod and was just at a loss because he had no welder and needed to do something like that. So he asked if I would build him a set of spindles out of the old Craftsman spindles I had, and I had one set left, so I agreed. And you can kind of see what I've basically done here. It's a really close look at the spindle extension mod. Um, just the welded on bolt. These already have the two nuts on. The C-clip still fits. You know, both sides here. Yep. So, yeah. I'm trying to help him out. Um, he's going to, I guess, uh, pay me a few bucks for these, for my time and everything, and the parts, and the shipping, and they're all his. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad to help him out. But sorry for the lack of any good real update. I can't do any real fabricating tonight. It's a little late to get started on this. Um, I just got the Comet Clutch in the mail today, and that's kind of what I was waiting for to mount the engine and the rear axle and all that stuff. So I can't really do it right now. I'd really like to, but i got to work tomorrow, so I probably shouldn't. But yeah, uh, I'm going to basically call it a night. Um, hopefully you guys like the video, um, let me know what you think, and we'll be doing lawnmower updates here, racing lawnmower updates real soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.